So with the eccentric push-up, we talked about two different ways to do it. One where you just lower yourself and then you get back up to the top however you can. And the second where you lower yourself down with that eight second count and then push back up to the top just like a normal push-up. So we're going to talk about when to use those two variations and what's most important. So picking your variation is really based on your ability level. Um, if you can get all the way down at the bottom of that eight second count and still push up with good form, then that's what we want you to do. Um, if you're not quite there yet, or maybe you can't do a whole lot of regular push-ups, choose your eight second count down so that you're strengthening that range of motion all the way down until your body touches the ground, and then get back up however you can. The focus is on lowering and strengthening those muscles, and it should positively influence your regular push-ups without tempo. Um, the second thing that we really want to pay attention to on the eccentric push-up is the core. It's really easy the longer we take to go down to start dropping the core and losing that plank positioning where our body is straight. And we want to make sure that we keep that when we're doing any sort of push-up, especially the eccentric. So remember, belly and butt are squeezed, okay? Abdominals and glutes the whole time you're doing that that eccentric push-up, make sure you keep that good form and you know that you've done it right if your whole body touches the ground at the same time. Your hips should never touch first or your belly should never touch first before um, the upper part of your shoulders and your upper body. So uh, choose what's appropriate for you and have fun.